Welcome to Royal Brains Executive Kindergarten and Primary School Rocker Compass. We teach, inspire and transform young minds to achieve their fullest potential. We identify, nurture and develop child's individual talents. Register today at Royal Brain School Executive Kindergarten and Primary School Rocker Compass. A unique and executive school where the future begins. Hello everyone there, I hope you are doing well, you are keeping safe so that we get to, uh, to come to, end, to the end of this problem that we are experiencing in Kenya. So just a reminder, when you are at home, remember to wash your hands using learning water or, and also when we don't have learning water you can use sanitizers and also remember to put on your mask. By doing so, I believe that everything will be okay. So welcome again for our lesson, our social studies lesson, and let's get to know what we are going to discuss today. So, we are discussing about formation of major physical features in Eastern Africa. And to start with, let me define the word physical features. So physical features, these are features or, phys or features that are found on the earth surface. Some of them, they were formed, they formed naturally. Now, examples of these physical features, they include, we have mountains, we have hills, we have plateaus, and many others. But for today, we are not going to discuss all of them. We are just going to pick one, and to start with, we are going to start with mountains. Now, mountains, they were, we have various mountains in Eastern, we have various mountains in Eastern Africa, which means they were formed through various processes. Now, in these categories, we have block mountains, we have volcanic mountains, and the others. But for today, let's discuss about block mountains. Now, block mountains, we, we say that they are also referred to as hosts. The way you can see, they are also referred to as hosts. So this is the same, key, the same word as block mountain. Now, we say also that they were formed through the process we call faulting and uplifting. So when we talk about faulting, faulting you realize that on the earth surface, when we have just the normal land, at the times we tend to have clacks. If you are so keen, especially during the dry season, when it is totally dry in those areas that maybe were flooded with water, when it is totally dry, we are likely to have some cracks. So again, in social studies, we say when we have comprehension of forces or other forces, these are forces that may tend to pull together or they pull away. So when we have forces pulling to one another, that kind of force we refer to the M as comprehensional forces. The ones that are pulling towards one another. This one is pulling from this side and this one is pulling from this side. Now, such kind of forces, we call them comprehensional forces. So those ones, they've led to the formation of block mountain. So I could like us to look a picture or to have a look of the picture of a block mountain, then we shall draw this mountain. So when talking about a block mountain, this is an example of a block mountain. At the top, you realize that uh, we, it is form, forming something like a table. It is flat at the top. And you realize that this part, it has been laced up. While this one, they are just uh, maybe down. They have gone down. This one was forced to go up. That's why we are saying that these mountains, they were formed through a team. So this side was forced to move up through the process we call a uh, faulting and a team. So we shall see now how these forces, read, uh, these forces we are calling comprehension of forces led to the formation of this mountain. Now, now, I am going to demonstrate on the board how these uh, forces called comprehensional uh, led to the formation of uh, this mountain we call block mountain. So, to start with, 
I'm going to draw the normal land. The way the normal land, we can just have a diagram like this to represent the normal land that we have. Uh, we can represent it just a simple diagram to represent the normal land and then how these forces leads to the formation of this mountain. So we can have layers. Let's assume that is the, the land with the different layers. Then this land might be subjected to these forces we call comprehension of forces. So these forces, we shall see that that one will be will be represented or will it will represent comprehension of forces. Comprehensional forces. In short form, we can write them as FC, meaning comprehension of forces. So also here we have comprehensional forces. So when they pull to one another, this land, some part of it, it will be forced to raise up. And when it, is, it raises up, we are going to have a, a diagram like this. A diagram like this will be formed once the side, the forces pushes all to one another. I hope you are following what I am doing. So this is what this is what will be formed now. Now maybe this is uh, the, the normal layer here. And we have this one, so this one. So this is what now we are calling the host or block mountain. Remember here we had comprehension of forces. Here we had comprehension of forces. So what am I trying to demonstrate in short? that we had the normal land, the normal land that we had. Now, it was subjected to what we call comprehension of forces. These forces, they had to pull to one another. Once they did so, the middle part was forced to move up. Once it was forced to move up, this is the part. Now, it led to the formation of the block mountain. I say that block mountain or host at the top, they are, not, uh, they are flat, you can see here. Now, this normal land was actually forced to somehow sink leading to the formation of block mountain. So wherever we have this figure, this represents a, a block mountain. We are talking about examples of block mountains or host mountains. These are some of the examples of mountains that we have in Eastern Africa. I'm just going to name the country where it is found and I give the name of that mountain. So on this side, I have country and the other side mountain. In Uganda, we have a good example of Ruenzori. Ruenzori mountains, they, they were formed through blow, uh, faulting. If you go to Tanzania, we have a mountain called Usambara. Usambara is a good example of a block mountain. If you go to Ethiopia, we have a good example of Danakil Alps. They are good, uh, it is a good example that represents a mountain that was formed through faulting. In Kenya here, we have Mau Ranges. They were formed through faulting. So just to mention a few, those are the examples of block mountains in Eastern Africa. Up to that point, do we have anybody with a question? I believe all of us, we are okay. Maybe just to remind you, so it is good you get to know that we will discuss about block mountains that we have in Eastern Africa, the way they were formed, and examples. So for today, we are going to stop at that point. You are, going, you, go, you are going to get your notes on our school platform. Thank you. Have a wonderful evening.